Greetings, fabulous people of the internet who watch my videos. I'm Eric Surf6, and this is the Mealtime Show. Today we are doing Japanese izakaya style food. Okay, the first two appetizers have arrived. This one here is called kiriboshi daikon, which is a dried radish. Some other things mixed in there too. And this is a mixed seafood. And then we've got a sake to kick it off with. Yeah. And a big cheers to you, team get some. It's a creamy one. Very nice. Let's get into these appetizers, shall we? Interesting looking. Mm. So we're in Japan and we've got the carpenters playing in the background. Isn't that wonderful? Nice copyright music from the 70s. Crank it up a little bit. I really like this song. As for the Kiriboshi Daikon, it's also got some other things in it too. It's interesting, it's better than it looks. I'll just say that. And then let's see, in the seafood dish here, we've got salmon roll, snow crab, scallops. Let's go for the snow crab. Another kind of fish row here too. This one, it's a crunchy one. Kazunoko, I think it's called. It's marinated in a shoyu, and then there's some kind of gooey texture at the bottom here. I believe it's uh, sea plants. Mm -hmm. Let's wash it down with some sake. Mm -hmm. So this is a very unique type of fried shrimp because it's wrapped in beef strips. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll bite into it and try to show you. And then it comes with the thick sauce, the tangy sauce. Okay, should eat this with chopsticks, but I already picked it up with my hands. Not really tasting the beef. It must just be really thinly sliced. Let's dissect it. It's supposed to be wagyu, Japanese beef. Oh, there it is. So yeah, between the breading and the shrimp, they have put in thinly sliced beef. Let's try just the beef. It adds to the uh, the meatiness, I guess, of the shrimp, but I don't know. I think without it, it's just as good. <laughs> mm hmm Can we do another one with the hot mustard? Yes, we shall. This is a pretty spicy mustard. You don't want to put too much. Be careful in Japan. The mustard is hot. Mm. That is tasty. 
I like it with the mustard. And then we've got some cabbage here. Pretty standard shredded cabbage. Mmm. And with the sake, you can drink out of the glass or you can drink out of the box. Tastes nicer out of the box. Okay, so this next dish is rolled scrambled egg with unagi freshwater eel inside it. Looks gorgeous. And then it comes with a daikon radish that you can top it with. Beautiful. You get quite a bit of eel there. Look at that. Nice. Put some of the daikon radish sauce on top. It's beautiful. Going in. Mmm. Mmm. Nice combination of flavors, yeah, and textures. But the egg, it's got sugar in it, it's sweet. If they just do salty and not the sweet, I'd be more of a happy camper. Going in for another piece. I think Tabasco on this would be really nice. Just spice it up a little bit, and get rid of that sweetness. Hot sauce. Really tasty though. Oh, that eel is so good. All righty, next up is a giant sea bream head. Look at the size of this fish. It would probably be about yay big. It's just a head, so it would be a good sized fish. Incredible. So there's the eye right there. And then look at the teeth here. It's the mouth. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are some choppers. Oh my gosh, it looks like a rat. Serious teeth on this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so where do we start with the eye? This is edible, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for the end. It's very bony. Where's all the meat hiding at? The search for the meat is on. Here it is right here. Oh, jackpot. This is a really solid fish. It's like a shell almost. That is really hard bone. All right, let's do this. Mm. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Lovely. That is really tasty. It's cooked just right. It's got a nice flavor to it. But all oh, the texture of the fish, it's, it's really soft and just delicious. It's, it's in kind of a sweet sauce. Mm. Oh, it is good. Some of the best fish I've ever had, I think. Shall we do the eye? Yes, we shall. Let's get the socket, the eyeball and everything. All the textures. Oh, it looks like a snail almost, doesn't it? Okay, there it is. The eye socket and the eyeball. Okay, I don't mind if you guys click away from the video. I might have to take a little break myself after this. Hard and chewy and gooey at the same time. But it is believed in Japan that if you eat the eyeball, it improves your eyesight. So I'm definitely all about that. It's like an eraser though. You really gotta break it down. The eye socket part is soft. You can just swallow that pretty easy, but the, you really gotta chew the eyeball. Yeah, imagine, if you will, the most chewy eraser you've ever put in your mouth. The next dish is the potato salad. It's 
looking pretty handsome. Looks like it's got a lot of ingredients. Mmm. That's creamy. It's got some crunch from the cucumbers and the orange things. What do you call the orange things? Carrots. Ninjin. <laughs> Upon closer inspection here with the potato salad, there's corned beef in here and onions as well too. Let's take the spice level up a notch with some togarashi spice. Give it some color too. Here we go. Mm. Better. It's a good potato salad. And over here, we've got the nasu eggplant with some bell peppers. And it's marinated in the sauce. Is the sauce boss? I'll let you know. Can we pick up the eggplant? Oh, that is really tasty. It's in a sweet miso sauce. Mmm. Oh, I just love eggplant when it's done right. And this is done right. Oh, it is delicious. It doesn't taste like a vegetable, it tastes like a main dish. Here is a very interesting dish. These are sandwiches so inside these sandwiches are shrimp and kamaboka which is the fish cakes and a mountain potato the gooey mountain potato very interesting nice toasted sandwich let's open it it can it's been pressed it is what it is tastes like a bucket of grease I don't know, fish cakes inside a sandwich? Uh, I don't know, I'm speechless. I really don't know how to describe these. They're beautiful looking. I just would like maybe lunch meat inside rather than fish cakes. Next up is the purple mystery dish. Here we go. What is inside here? Oh, look at that. This is bamboo shoots. Gorgeous looking. A little bit of uh, sea plants in there. Look at that. Beautiful looking. Love the texture of bamboo shoots. Mm. Perfect. Mm. A little crunchy, a bit chewy. And just really nice flavor. Mm. Oh, bamboo. It's such an amazing plant or tree. It grows so fast. And it's just, it's so exotic looking. Really flavorful. And what do we have here? This is called niku tofu. Niku for the meat on top and the tofu on the bottom. And it comes with a raw egg. Oh goodness. So I guess you beat up the egg and then you pour it on top. How do you guys feel about raw egg? Me personally, neutral. Okay. Here we go, get some meat. I believe this is pork, it looks like. Ooh, we got some spaghetti, konyaku there, noodles. And we've got some onions, nicely marinated onions, and the tofu. Okay, what else do we need? We need some of the soup. Okay, ready to go. Here 
Here we go. Meat going in to the egg wash. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so how do I feel about the uh, the meat and the egg wash? I don't like it, I don't hate it. Neutral, just like I said in the beginning. Someday I'll like it. Can you put the tofu in here too? I guess you can. Let's do the konyaku. Konyaku, the transparent potatoes. Yakitori cooking. This is the last dish. While we're waiting for the yakitori, it's cooking now. I want to show you the chopstick holders. These are the unagi, the eels. Just like that. What else? And this, can you guess what animal this is? It's actually a bird. There you go. Here, they got a, they've got a waddle like this. have some tea here. Nice way to finish off the meal with some hot green tea. Very soothing. If you want to be polite, two hands. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at that beautiful yakitori. It's glistening. So, 50-50, that's liver right there, 50-50, I'm not sure. I'm gonna start with the skin, I think. Let's do this first. We've also got the spice to add it, if it needs it, but he's drenched it in sauce, so I think it's gonna be fine just like this. Chicken skin. Here we go. Mm. Oh my. Super chewy. And I would say it's cooked medium rare. Very chewy. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one. We're gonna save this for the end. In case it's liver. Do the quail eggs. Oh, so tasty. Mm. The yolks are so concentrated. Nice flavor. And this one is called skune or minced chicken meat. Mmm. Nice and soft. And really flavorful, the way that the sauce has gone into the balls. Yeah. The meatballs have soaked up the sauce. And this is the standard momo or thigh meat with uh, onions. Negema, I think it's called. Oh yeah. Mm. Meaty and delicious. This is the best one so far. So the question is, did we save the best one for last? It's either neck or liver. I'm hoping it's neck. Mm-hmm. I think it's neck. No. It's liver. It's not too bad though. Because it's drenched in the sauce. And the taste just grows in your mouth. Oh my, I need, some, need something to drink. Oh goodness. Not too bad for my standards for liver though. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. 
So that's going to do it for this meal. On my rating scale today, I'm going to give it mm, one, two, three, four, five out of six. It's a gnome, gnome. Banging. It was a good meal all the way around. I really enjoyed it. Had some interesting new items that I've never had before. And that's part of the fun, trying new things when you go out and eat in a foreign country. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give the video a like if you did. And as always, I look forward to reading those comments. We shall see you in the next one.